Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to teach about the inventory management system using Servlet JSP part two tutorial. So here we already we saw how to design the simple uh, UI design of sales system. Uh, so here let me continue the stuff. Now here we have done it the simple one, right? index.jsp page so this is a simple page right so now here what i'm going to do is we have done uh, do it here this one we no need it only we have to import the js uh, jquery plugins this is very important stuff to import the jquery plugins so how to import the jquery plugins here this one we, we know we need this 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 thing right jquery min.js okay this one must so how to write it here as you have to type script Okay, you can write script src equal okay you have to paste the file so how to get get it get it this one go to google type uh, jquery this one jquery min.js you just type it press in the key on your keyboard you can take it from the W3 school. Okay, you can take it. This CD, this link. Otherwise, you can copy entire script, copy it and paste it over here. This is not here. Paste it over here. That's it. So paste it. Over here. That's it. That's the thing we have did it here. Okay, right. That's the only thing you have to do. This one we don't need. This one, right. After that, this one, the jQuery validate.js. You can this one you have to put it over here and get the. This one also we have to do it for working the jQuery part. The jQuery, right? If you have to the CDN JS. This one, this CDN also you have to copy and paste it. Copy and paste it over here. That's the thing you have to do. Right? Validate me. These two files are very important stuff while you make the uh, inventory management. This we used to we have to validate. After that, we have to import the script. Start with the script and close the script. Here. Uh, right. Now, here, this one also source code. So, uh, shortcut keys we don't need at the moment. So here, yeah, this is a basic stuff. Right. First, you have to write the. Uh, we have create these variables. Is new true? This one we don't need them. Item null. We have to create them. Okay. After that, what I'm going to do is here first. If you type the relevant barcode, details the according to the details should be display on the. Product details should be displayed on the this uh, fields. Product name, price. So how to do the task here is here we have to create the function product code open bracket and close bracket. Inside here we have to write the ajax simple ajax query over here. Right? How to write the ajax? You can start from like this ajax post type post URL. This is a URL. It goes to this URL to find the product ID. It goes to this product URL uh, and find the product ID. Data that we have used as data JSON format. Data will be traveled into the JSON format. Okay. So the data, what is the barcode ID you are typing on this text box? Here, yeah, this uh, text box. So it will be getting the text box, the barcode. They assign the variable A. After that, what I am going to do here is if the barcode is found, it's, if the barcode is found, let's go and check the barcode. If the barcode is found, it takes the details and here. So how to go to this one? It goes to the, uh, this is a product. It's a product folder. Inside the product folder, you can see here, get product, get ID, JSP. Okay. 
So here you don't worry, don't confuse about this one. In earlier video, I will show you how to make the design normally. This other stuff, if you have put uh, write the code and explain, it take too much of time to cover this for uh, projects for you. It's so boring. So that whatever I done, I'll be explaining. It is easy to it reduce the time to cover off this all the projects to you, right? So here you have tried this is the this of you have find the barcode right? It's a very simple code. Okay, in order to do this one, we have to download this libraries. This this file, MySQL libraries and JSON simple. Then only will be these three uh, jar files we have to download. Okay, so MySQL connector. Yes, and this one also we have to be needed. This one for the uh, JSON form. This is J. Another time, say JSON format. If you have write the JSON format, you have write JSON simple. This one. If you have to write jar. So these are the things we have to download, right? So I will give you this jar files. If you don't worry about that. If you don't have, I'll give you. If you if you if you need, you just copy and go to the Google and download them. This one. Okay, you just go to the uh, MySQL connector for Java. You type MySQL connector for Java. This all the stuff you just copy. You paste it over here. You download this one. The same thing. You download this as well. Copy it, paste it over here. You can download this one. Okay. You just click and then download the jar. Okay, this one from Maven. At the moment, in this project, I am not using the Maven. Okay, dependent. So we have to go here and download this one. The G, 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 S, N. This one also needed. So go to here and download the, those this library share well. Yeah, all the jar sites are there. You just go and have it. These are the sites you have to have it. Right? Don't worry about the, so the source code I provided in my website. How to download them? All source I provide. Okay, don't worry about that. This is simple way. This is how we have to get the barcode. So after that, you have to if you are import this one into the library your downloader and you can right click. And add jar, jar folder. What is the jar folder? I import it. All jar folder you have to import it here. Click and you have to import like this. Whatever you download. Then only you will be able to write the code. This code is this is this class is reside on this one. This libraries. JSON simple this library. This is all the class. Okay, if you are type this one, it automatically import the this libraries and all. Right? After that, we have write the prepare statement. This is the our MySQL driver registration. After that, what is the value you are getting? Here, here you are sending the value. Barcode, you are sending the value to A. The A we are receiving here. And put in this AL variable. After that, we are this is the our, our, our database is reside on localhost, JSP POS, root. This is the database, right? Okay, this is the database, right? After that, we are there where we have shown you the exact location where your database is reside on. After that, we have to write the query to get the product ID. So select all from products where barcode ID. What's the barcode ID you are typing? You are putting this variable. This is variable you have to put it as a prepare statement here. This okay. So set it here. What's the barcode code? We are typing if it is match, if it is match in the table. So here, if RS next is true, if it is matching, the relevant product details should be displayed here. We are setting to the display and setting to the display variables. After that, we have to send it back to the our form as a JSON form, JSON object model. Okay, JSON object model. So JSON object, you have to write here. So how to type? 
Jason put this name. This name you have put it equal equal this one. This so this these two things are goes to the page. Okay, so let's check a page. This is a page. A page. If you type the this one or oh, this page here, right click. You can check here impact. Go to the console. You can check here. Uh, not this. Wait, I'll be doing here. Right now, here if you type the barcode, here it will be working here. Retail price is here. This 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 is this this is this is coming from here. It is sending to sending to the list to here output print list to JSON string. It will be convert and send it back into a this page. Which page? This page. It getting the values. It it will be getting the values. It will be getting the values. Here product name retail price. And put into this text field. Okay, this is the empty text field, so we have to put it here empty. So you have to write as a HTML data like this. After that, it will be set it here and focus the. It asks to enter the quantity. It focus the quantity text field over here. It is pointing off the current quantities here. Okay, if the, if you enter the uh, quantity belong this range, what is the quantity? You already have in the table. If you install, if you have entered more than that, we have to show there. So that's why you have to call current quantity. We will check the current quantity. This is all the must when you are doing the inventory management system. Okay, this is how we are finding the product code. This one should be must, right? Uh, I hope you guys you understood things well. Uh, in my next video tutorial, I'll be explaining. How to uh, add the details to the product table and store the value to the database and all the stuff you have to show in my next video. Uh, thanks for watching.